Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft, and I want to show you how you could test autopilot using Hyper-V and do all of it in about 15 to 20 minutes. So stop creating images and start doing autopilot. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, let's talk about my setup. I'm gonna have a Surface Book running Hyper-V on it. We're gonna have a Hyper-V virtual machine. We're gonna have Microsoft Endpoint Manager and literally 10 minutes of my free time to do this. That's really it. The full detailed instructions on what I'm about to show you is available at this link. So take a moment, pause the video and write this down because I want you to go out and try this on your own. Okay, so here we are inside the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. And I'm gonna go over on the left side to Devices and then click on Windows and then Windows Enrollment. And that will bring me to here. And under Windows Autopilot Deployment Program, let's go ahead and click on Deployment Profiles. Now I've already gone, gone through and created a new Autopilot Deployment Profile and I called it User Driven. And let me just show you what this is doing. So the deployment mode is User Driven versus Self Driven. Uh, it's joining to Azure AD as a native Azure AD join machine oppo as opposed to hybrid Azure AD join where we also join the Windows Server Active Directory. We're presetting the language to English. We're automatically configuring the keyboard layout. We're hiding the licensing terms agreement and the privacy settings and also the ability for the user to change their account options. And then rather than applying a local administrator uh, uh, permission to that user account, we are just giving them a standard account. And then we're going to allow white glove. I'll talk about that here coming up in just a few moments. And we're not going to do a naming template and production. We probably would, but for the lab here, we're not going to do that. And I'm assigning this to a dynamic device security group called autopilot devices. So let me show you what that looks like. If we go into the Azure Active Directory uh, portal here, I have a new dynamic device security group. And the membership rule, I'm keying off of essentially any serial number in the environment. So my physical IDs are any, basically any serial number. So in production, you probably do this a little differently, maybe based on a range of serial numbers from the OEM, maybe based on the type of device, who the OEM is. There, there could be a number of different ways to identify that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we are going to then go click on devices and we need to get the hardware ID so we can upload it to this devices portal so we can start getting autopilot going. So to do that, here's that web page on the right side that I gave you a link to earlier. We're gonna scroll down and we are going to find the section for capture the hardware ID and it's gonna be this guy here. And over on the left side, I have a Hyper-V virtual machine with Windows 10 Professional on it. Uh, this is 1903, I believe, or sorry, 1909 rather. And uh, with this, uh, I've just done a basic standard vanilla install of Windows 10. We're sitting at the out of box experience screen. And so I'm gonna do a shift F10 to launch a command prompt. And we're gonna go ahead and launch PowerShell. And once we're inside PowerShell, we're gonna start copying commands from the right side on the article and pasting them in. So let's go ahead and uh, make a new directory here called HWID, let's set our location in PowerShell to that directory. And then let's change our execution policy so we can run scripts. All right, and then we need to go out and install the Git Windows Autopilot script from the internet. So obviously my VM needs to be connected to the internet. And then as this installs, it's gonna take a few moments. It's gonna ask me a question here. Uh, are we sure? Yes, we're sure. And we'll let this install. So bear with me for a few moments while this is running. Okay. And then now we're gonna set the, uh, the environmental path in PowerShell for our script. There we go. And now we're going to actually run the script. And so the script is get Windows Autopilot info.ps1, and we're going to output the results to a CSV file. All right, so now that that's completed, 
we need to get the CSV file off this virtual machine. Now, I am a little lazy, so I'm not going to map a drive or do any of the advanced Hyper-V stuff to be able to get that file. I'm gonna do what uh, probably most security guys will not do and launch Internet Explorer right here from the virtual machine. Uh, hey, Internet Explorer is a great browser, right? I wish we had Edge here that I could launch, but we're just gonna launch IE instead. Okay. And so once we're, once we're doing that, we are going to browse out to my email service. And I use Yandex here in my account, or in my lab rather. And once we go to Yandex, we're going to open up our email and get logged in. So let's go ahead and log in. Now I'm taking you through behind the scenes here, but I wanna just show you how to do this. I want you to see how long this takes. It's actually very quick and easy. And there's nothing stopping you from doing this within 15 to 30 minutes. It's extremely easy to do in my opinion. Um, so let's just go ahead and compose a new message and let's send this to my user account in my lab. If I can type the VM there and the keyboard going over remote desktop connections, not the, not the easiest. And then let's go ahead and attach that CSV file. So browse out to the C drive. Look, there's our hardware ID uh, directory. And we're going to send that. And then once we send it, let's go ahead and reset that. Div Actually, you know what? We're going to come back to that. So let's go ahead and launch Outlook. That's not Outlook. Let's launch Outlook. There you are. Trying to walk and chew gum here at the same time. Okay. So once we launch Outlook, we're going to do a send receive and our email should be here in just a few moments. While we're waiting for that to come in, let's bring up the autopilot portal and this Windows autopilot devices screen, we're going to import that CSV file. And it normally takes about 15 minutes or so for it to get imported and get synchronized. And so once we do that, we'll pause the video and we'll come back to it. Okay, so there's the CSV file. So let's go ahead and save him. And uh, we're just gonna save him here to the downloads folder. And then let's go ahead and open up that CSV file because I know you're probably wondering what does that thing look like? So let's open it up. And there's the CSV file. It just contains a serial number, hardware hash of that, and the Windows product ID. So we're gonna take this CSV and we're gonna upload it to the autopilot service. So let's click on import under our devices screen here, go to the downloads folder, choose that CSV. It's happy, it's formatted correctly, click import. And then this is where it's gonna take up to 15 minutes. So go grab a cup of coffee, get something to eat and drink, and we'll see you back here in a few moments. Okay, here we are back in the autopilot devices portal. And you can see now my device is showing up. There's a serial number from that Hyper-V virtual machine. And you can see that the, the deployment profile has been assigned. So what does that mean? Well, if we go over to Azure Active Directory and we look at our group, remember we're keying off of that serial number. And so if we go to members, it automatically added that device to the dynamic device security group, which means if we go back to our autopilot diploma profile and we click on design, assign devices, there's that device. So it's added to that dynamic device security group, which is added to the profile. So the device gets added and then it shows up, whoops, and then it shows up under devices here that it's been assigned. All right, so we are ready to rock and roll at this point. And let's go ahead and minimize this and let's reboot our VM. And we're just gonna do a quick reset now, while that's reset, and I'm just going to eject that DVD, uh, we don't need that anymore. Let's free up some, uh, some uh, storage resources here. Okay, so now that it's uh, rebooting, remember that deployment profile should automatically choose the language and keyboard layout. Now, my VM is connected to the internet, so in production in real life with an actual physical machine, you'd already have it connected over Ethernet. Now, if I want to do this over Wi-Fi, obviously I would have to 
uh, enter the Wi Fi uh, you know, network ID. Uh, but in this case, I've already plugged into the network, it's connected to the internet. Now, built into Windows, it already knows to go out and contact the autopilot service. I don't have to do anything there. So, this is just built into Windows. So as we go out and we contact the autopilot service, it sees that there's a serial number that's assigned an autopilot deployment profile and it knows what to do. So check this out. In just a moment, it's going to display my company's login page with my company's logo and my company's name. So we'll give this just a moment to load here and we, we should see that display. There it is, check it out. So. I did a really bad job with the logo in Azure Active Directory, but I think you get the idea. That's my logo, there's my company name. We are ready to rock and roll. I never had to choose my keyboard layout. I never had to choose my language. The deployment profile automatically did that for me. And so we're gonna go ahead and log in. And we're gonna do the MFA thing. So let's respond to the MFA challenge on my phone. 25 and 25, and we are being authenticated. And in just a moment, you're gonna see an enrollment status page, and you're gonna see Autopilot and Endpoint Manager doing its magic. And there's the enrollment status page, and we can see that it's starting to join it to Azure Active Directory. It's gonna enroll it into MDM, so Microsoft Endpoint Manager. It's gonna go through and start pushing down security policy, Wi-Fi profiles, VPN, uh, applications, everything that I want it to do. So I'm gonna let this sit here and cook for a few moments. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video. We'll come back when I'm ready to show you more. All right, now we can see the device is being set up, so it's pushing down security policy. Now, in my lab, I only have one configuration profile. I'm not really doing anything else. Now, I do have one app that we're gonna push down, and that is uh, Google Chrome. And so uh, it's pushing that down, and so we'll give that a few moments. And now we are going to uh, go into a desktop, and in just a moment, this thing will be done processing. So give this just a moment. We're gonna do the uh, the good old high screen. I love that, by the way, I think that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna load the user profile and we'll get to a desktop here in just a moment. All right, so I think we're just about ready. It's now gonna set up my account. So I may have, may have spoke too soon here, but we'll give it a moment. All right, here we go. We are almost ready. And now my policy tells me that I need to enroll in Windows Hello, so let's go ahead and do that. If you're not familiar with Windows Hello, uh, I have another video out there that uh, talks more about it, so be sure to check that out. Uh, Windows Hello is great. Um, I know you might be thinking a pen is not secure. Uh, it is. <laughs> And uh, I'll tell you about more about that in another video. So now we're going to be taken to a desktop. There we go. We're ready to rock and roll. Autopilot has finished. Now, this is my lab. I haven't done a whole lot of configuration profiles and endpoint manager yet. So that's why you see some of these items popping up. Um, if I did, um, did a configuration profile, I'd be able to uh, customize all of this. Now, I wanna show you that, check it out, Google Chrome got installed. So Endpoint Manager uh, automatically pushed out Google Chrome for me, which is, is pretty awesome. And there's Google Chrome. All right, so let me show you uh, something else that I think is, is pretty awesome. And that is the ability to do white glove, all right? So you see that there's Google, Google Chrome here. And um, if we go back to our uh, deployment profile in the Endpoint Manager portal. Remember I showed you before in the deployment profile, allow white glove out of box experience to yes? Well, what is that? Well, I pushed down Google Chrome, right? But let's say I want to do a pre-install of those um, 
of those applications before the user actually turns on the machine. Well, that's where White Glove comes in. So if you just do a quick search for Autopilot White Glove, you will come across the documentation, this guy here. And this does a really good job explaining what it is, but let's just cut to the chase. When you turn on that machine for the first time, hit the Windows key five times and you will be brought to this screen. Click on Windows Autopilot Provisioning. You will then be brought to this screen. Now remember that serial number is registered in the service, so everybody knows who it is and everything, what company it belongs to. At that point, click Provision and all of the applications that are in Endpoint Manager and all the security policy and everything will be pushed down to that device automatically and then when it's done, you can reseal it, power it off, and then give it to the end user. And now they don't have to sit there and wait like we just did to have everything pushed down and installed. It's ready to go and just pulls down the deltas when they log in. That's white glove. So that's perfect in situations where bandwidth may be at a premium. Maybe I'm on an oil rig or something, or I'm out in a rural area. But white glove is pretty awesome. All right, folks, we are 15 minutes into the video. And uh, this has been a demonstration and testing of Windows Autopilot. I hope you enjoyed it. I love making these videos. If you have feedback for me, let me know on LinkedIn or in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe.